when you had your name called out, how did it feel? Well, I was waiting while it was happening, you know, and all of a sudden, Ellen said, oh my God, I mean, I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> and how, and, and you, you've had a, an incredible uh, career in hospitality. What advice would you give to somebody who, who's thinking of embarking on a career in Well, you, you must love being with people and you've got to be able to listen. You're, you're like a psychiatrist. <laughs> you just listen, and whatever you hear is for your ears only and not for anybody else. It always feels great, you know, when you've been doing... We're just embarking on our... Well, finishing our 20th year, and, you know, it just does... Keeping our customers happy is the most important thing, but at the end of the day, some recognition always helps to keep the wheels of life spinning. The first KTR one, I only really appreciated actually what it really meant the following year when I participated in the judging. And it's only really when you've seen how much scrutinizing goes on behind the scenes that you realize that it doesn't kind of end up in your hands without at least a certain amount of thought. So it's quite humbling. Congratulations, uh, you won the two awards. Thanks very much indeed, yeah, fantastic. Um, how does it feel? I mean, you're a double winner. Well, yeah, I'm, I, I, I'm a bit speechless, which is very <laughs> unlike me. I'm never speechless, so it's great. It's a testament to the team. It's a testament to the longevity of the manoir and Raymond's dream and passion about what the manoir is all about. And so this is really 27 years of his hard work, but also at the same time, it's a team of 200 people who put it all together and deliver it day after day after day after day. Your business in 2010 was particularly very good for you. It was indeed. We, how, yeah. did you, uh, how did you achieve both the increase I think the thing that happened was that we took advantage of all the things that were stopping people travelling abroad and so therefore we saw there was a gap in the market for what is called a staycation but people were celebrating that one-off once in a lifetime event in the UK rather than going abroad for it and we just sort of took advantage of that more than anything else. Brilliant and you're very, uh, self-protection is very important for yeah. Yeah, it's very so much how, so. do you, how do you keep this tough with you? I think people see us as a training academy, quite honestly. There's an awful lot of people who've worked with us and have started at the bottom, worked their way up and now in senior positions with us. But we also realise that there, there comes a time when we have to let people go. And they go off to other properties within the industry and they're our ambassadors and they get other people to come to work for us. And an awful lot of time they come back to us as well. And I'm a prime example. I ran it for five years, went away for five years and came back for the last two years. And so, you know, uh, there's something about the manual that gets in your heart. Fantastic. Yeah. Really brilliant. Surprised, of course. Very um, proud. Yeah, very proud. Did you get the local community to take quite a new concept uh, pub restaurant in offering that you've got at the garrison? What was your sort of marketing? How did you well, get I think, to um, I think our approach was being all about being accessible, really, which is what English pubs are, are great for. So, so that was, uh, it was very easy to like it. Definitely. We're a neighbourhood pub and restaurant and we're always all about our neighbourhood and uh, we love our neighbours and uh, they love us in return it would seem so uh, we're very happy about that. Thank you. How does it feel to have won a I feel actually quite it, it completely I'm a bit shaky you know that because I didn't <laughs> expect it at all I've got to say people we're up against I did not think we'd win because the Scarlet is a great hotel and who else are we up against? Can't remember, but I thought we just no way we'll win that, you know. But that's brilliant, you know, really, because we're a bit, a bit small, you know. I'm a lot less perhaps invested in than some of those great so places, how do you, you know. Think what I mean, your, your, your hotel differs from, from others. What, what makes it so special? I think we're a really hospitality-based business. I mean, that sounds obvious in a way, yeah. but but we really emphasise that as the thing that we do most, and we promote it. We promote the pants off it. We're very kind of shameless tarts in a way. Do you know what I mean? We do a lot into that. And, uh, and we try to make it relevant and different and keep it moving. You know, we don't stop innovating, even if you don't spend capital, we're always trying new ways of doing things. So we're quite energetic, I suppose, that way. So that was great, yeah. yeah so. Absolutely gobsmacked, to be honest. Uh, I absolutely had no idea that we were going to win. I was delighted we were shortlisted even, because uh, it's such a large, a broad category. Um, best independent marketing plan campaign can go across sort of anything, really. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. Has the momentum continued since you launched the campaign? Yeah, it's been really good. I mean, for, uh, from the point of view of the Academy, we've had, we've never had so many hits on the website. Um, we've kept up the social media stuff, video blogs, um, tweeting, um, Facebook uh, contacts, etc. And it, yeah, it's just grown and grown. The, um, obviously there was a peak in the web traffic, yeah. 
during the programme, but that's sort of now settled down to quite a steady flow, which is fantastic. But the most important thing, I think, is, is that the age group has reduced. So whereas the target audience previously was probably a bit older, more managerial, now we're very much talking to the people that are on, on the floor. Be proud, yeah, it's really great. It's just recognises all the achievement from all the team, that kind of all the hard work behind the campaign, so really pleased. Fantastic. And what do you consider the key ingredients of a successful marketing campaign? I think for, especially for this campaign, is the integration across all the channels, like all the teams across throughout the marketing, the IT team, the finance team, there was a real kind of cross-functional team that really helped pull it together. So for this campaign especially, I think that really helped. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, how's the Infinitive on occasion? I'm very... I, you can't deny it's, it's, uh, it's nice to have the recognition. It's very nice. And then can you tell us a little bit about your group and what your group's up to you and... Prezzo? Yep. What are we up to? We're, up, we're expanding, we're improving, we're developing, we're opening more restaurants. You know. so very many congratulations on winning tonight. Thank you. It feels fantastic. Yes. Uh, not just for me, for everyone who works in the clink, and especially all the prisoners. Can you tell us a little bit about um, the clink and, and what your sort of Yeah, the clink, the clink's a, a, it's a restaurant within a prison, but it's primarily a training restaurant. The reason for the restaurant is to stop prisoners re-offending, give them a chance of a job, qualifications, open the public's eyes to like, you know, give them, give them a chance if they've got the qualification, give them an interview, give them a job, if they're no good, give them the sack. Did you have a lot of response back from your TV show? We have, we've had a massive response and the restaurants more or less um, fully booked all the time now um, but it's not just that about it's not about money the clinks not about money the clinks about employers so we've had lots of employers um, offering um, employ you know jobs for prisoners we've had people offering housing uh, people uh, people are offering employment that nothing to do with catering um, yeah, you know, we had a haulage firm say, you know, we, we have you got anyone qualified as a HGV driver? We need them. So it's not just about cooking. Very good, very nice. Yeah, lovely for any, the team. Any uh, inkling that you were uh, no? No, because we didn't know we didn't know who we were up against, so you couldn't really make a you couldn't really make a, a, a guess as to whether you'd be in with a chance or not. But we know what we believe in, so. Uh, yeah, we do, yeah, what we we do. do it from the heart and we just do what we do and yeah, this is just, this is lovely and an extra but what matters is actually our guests. And Fantastic. How do you, um, you, you've managed to combine luxury and sustainability at the Red Hotel. Do you find that the majority of customers book because it, it is luxurious or because it's sustainable? They book because it's a really good hotel yes. and then they love our ethos because we have a certain amount of integrity that a lot of hotels are just out to make money. And how important do you think sustainable tourism is going to be in the future? I think Amazingly it's, important. Yeah, but it's all there is. You know, yeah. we need to waste less and I think a lot of hotels have actually um, are following something that's just, just completely mad, which is that they confuse what guests really want with giving them more and more and actually guests can do with a little less but what they need is more care and, and more thinking about what they really want and not just more chocolates and shampoos and silly gold taps and things. Yeah. Uh, well, it's amazing really. Yeah. I didn't really expect to win, to be honest. Okay. Um, but so many people put in so much hard work that it feels right to have won. Not for me, but for the team. Can you tell me a little bit more about the Hesley Group? The Hesley Group, the Hesley Group um, works with teenagers and young adults providing residential care for individuals who have very often profound autism. So a lot of uh, diet-led uh, conditions, if you like, uh, a need for uh, good food, genuinely good food, very, very complex diets. Yeah, good. I mean, really chuffed, especially, you know, I've, you know, being up against those other guys as well, I sort of thought they're the sort of people who were cooking when I was starting out. So really chuffed to win Katie, actually. So you do uh, join a, a quite an elite band of uh, Katie chef winners. Yeah. So you're quite up there. It must be quite humbling. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, we opened every six years ago with no sort of, 
you know, idea that it would ever come to sort of this. You know, we sort of didn't open with massive sort of ideas about where we'd end up, and um, to win a cage is massive, really good. Strange, actually. Overwhelming and, uh, well, it's for the chefs, really, isn't it? And the young people, and chefs at Doctor School. It's, as everybody says, it's so many people are responsible for this. You can't do it alone. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's great. They did a fantastic work. Yeah. I mean, uh, I'm just here to check what they're doing, but they don't need me. They've done a fantastic work. <laughs> You're up against some pretty stiff competition. Um, what do you think set your menu apart from everyone else? You French? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want me to say that, but... but you can no, just... Yeah. Uh, Be French. Good product. Yeah. You know, yeah, work I mean, properly. We love food. How would you describe the menu at Fox and Bakes for people who haven't been before? It's a mix of uh, what we love to eat and what the people want. And uh, at the end, we're just enjoying what they do and they just keep doing it. And yeah, it's just very simple, work properly. That's you know, very best you could do. Well, I feel very pleased for my wife, really, because uh, she did the whole project and she worked with uh, one of our guests. Uh, who had MS at the time, uh, only beginning, but now very much more. So it was a real uh, big project to get it all right. And uh, we're very pleased that uh, it also has been recognized, I have to say. Do you think yeah. the Italians um, realize the potential that they could, uh, of catering for the exhibition? No, no, because we, uh, we did not either, but um, the, we have some special facilities quite a few, but the, the room that we have is the busiest room of the house. And that's unbelievable. We never thought about that, but it's our most successful room as well. So that is uh, very good so to have. So you're supporting our accessibility campaign, for you? Yeah, 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 definitely. Well, I think after 35 years in the industry, uh, we've had various goes of this. No, I'm absolutely delighted. I feel yeah. really privileged and honoured, actually. Cool. And um, what do you think, apart from the occasion, Uh, well, I think staying in a job is pretty good, uh, and having been with one company is pretty unusual. Uh, but it's one that I've thoroughly enjoyed. It's been a fantastic career, and long may it continue. Lifetime achievement, actually. Yeah. I, I sort of lived in awe of this former employer of mine, Frank Bell, who had a Katie, and I thought, you know, one day, nah, it'll never happen. And here it has. Uh, your live kitchen uh, technology, I think, is what's good yeah. for the judges. Um, what difference has the live kitchen technology made to your business? Well, it's, it's transformed it. Three years ago, we were relying on excessive bank lending. Now, we have no requirement for bank lending. Now, that's a hell of a turnaround, going from the time when banks were lending recklessly to the time when banks won't lend. We just happened to transform ourselves at the right time. Yeah.